I mean, so for as long as I can remember, I like to pull pranks on my parents. I, like really dark, twisted things when I was 12. Like I had this Ernie doll from Sesame Street that I would place around the house in horrific situations, like uh, hanging from a noose from the shower, cur uh, shower rod or whatever. Um, when I went to college, that was my first experience with pranks on a large scale, and I decided to um, start a fictitious movement to change the school's mascot at James Madison University in Virginia from a dog to a three-eyed pig with antlers. I decided to pick the most absurd thing. So it's really funny. I've kind of come full circle because my first big prank, um, well, basically involved football. And it, it really opened my eyes to what happens when you threaten a symbol. Um, so around that time, this was in the early 1990s, uh, the Supreme Court had recently ruled that burning the American flag was protected under the First Amendment. Um, and that got me thinking about, yeah, what it means to threaten a symbol. I didn't want to burn an American flag and get beaten up. I thought it was more interesting to instead threaten uh, a symbol of uh, college athletics where I, I, I was going to school and boy did it create a backlash um, so for instance during the homecoming football game uh, the entire school rallied in defense of the dog mascot even though there was no real threat to its existence the football team I, that is the the band spelled out we love the dog and its tubas during the game, and someone actually built an effigy of a three-eyed pig with antlers, whatever that looked like, and uh, someone was using their imagination, and they threw it into the stands, and the, the crowd ripped it apart, and a friend who was n in the area asked, oh, hey, what's going on? And another person said, oh, some fags are trying to like get rid of the, the dog um, and replace it with a three-eyed pig. Anyway, uh, that's what I mean by the Million Robot March to delete the pink locker rooms. It allowed me to come kind of full circle from my very first prank, which was, well, a prank that involved football <laughs> and, and athletics. And it was very interesting that both times when this a symbol is threatened, it uh, brought out often like the most aggressive and hateful sides of people's nature. Um, and it was very illuminating. And the first time I did that prank, the, the, the school mascot prank, it really opened my eyes to the, the power of mass media because it was the first time one of my pranks ever made it to CNN after filtering through regional and local news um, outlets. Uh, my grandma actually called me, thought I was on drugs, like, what are you doing? Um, and so I was like, wow, it even reached my grandmother in Kansas.